Hey guys, I'm Dame Six from the Omnic Post with an update on Overwatch. It has been a quite few weeks, especially since the beta ended, but that finally came to an end. Well, kinda. See, the third and final anniversary remix event finally started this week. For those that are new to the game or have been stuck in a cave for the last 12 months, the anniversary remix events replaced the previous seasonal events like Archives, Anniversary and this time around the Summer Games. During these remix events, all of the brawls are playable in a weekly rotation and you can earn or buy any of the event cosmetics, just like you would during a normal anniversary event. The big difference here is that we don't get any new skins. We get remixes or recolors of all the existing event legendaries. Six of them. This time around, that's Arctic Ops, Batiste, Varsity Diva, Genji Man, Genji, Megatron, Farah, Proteus 76, Soldier, and Tagged Tracer. Now, in the first remix event, there was somewhat of a theme going on in these recolors. They were all white. But in the last two, that seems to be gone. To be honest, they kind of look nice. Especially that Proteus 76 skin. That looks simply awesome. It is the perfect skin for sale Dynasty fans. Which again proves that they could do Overwatch League themed recolors of all the legendaries at some point. In any case, these recolors are about as new as it gets for this event. Other than those six recolor skins, you can unlock old limited time event skins during the new weekly challenges. This week that is the comic book Tracer. Next week that is going to be Madama Tsimetra. And in the final week that is going to be Kaiohisha Hanzo. Try saying that three times. And that's about it for this event. For the last event ever in Overwatch 1. The next event is going to be Halloween Terror, which is going to happen at the end of October. And by then Overwatch 2 will be released. While Overwatch 1 will be a thing of the past. Now what that new Halloween event is going to look like is yet unknown at this point. But I did do a guess during the Omnic recap two weeks ago, so go check out that video if you're interested. And next Sunday I'm going to do a video on what these last weeks for Overwatch 1 will look like, or could look like. It is the end of an era, but on the other hand we have a lot to look forward to. What do you think of all these new remixes and their choice of limited time event skins? Let me know in the comments. Join me during my streams on twitch.tv slash and make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch.